Hi Tubers, how are you doing? Um, listen, I'm smoking this uh, pipe tobacco for the first time. This is a uh, Mac Barron's uh, Seven Seas Golden Blend. That's the way it's called. And trying it for the first time. And you know what? Uh, pipe smoking in Spain, for some reason, is not popular anymore. So uh, the choice is limited. When you go to the tobacco shop, um, they don't do many blends. So it is kind of difficult to find what you are looking for, uh, any decent uh, tobacco, uh, pipe tobacco. Well, I'm happy it just uh, eventually made the owner of the uh, tobacco shop near the place where I live um, order some blends that are available in the country. And uh, I just order some Macbarin's blends. Um, I've read some nice commentaries on them. Uh, also, this one that I tried yesterday for the first time too. This is a W.O. Uh, Larson's uh, uh, Simply Unique, which belongs to the Classics uh, series. Um, so they're actually very mild uh, blends, kind of aromatic, although I'm not very keen on, on uh, many aromatic uh, tobacco blends that I've tried so far because they are set to contain lots of chemicals to add those uh, flavors and, and aromas uh, and uh, well that's not too good for your health I think um, so I rather uh, smoke uh, things like these that uh, Samuel Gowitz uh, Golden Glow. This is a, a pure Virginia tobacco. But anyway, these uh, two aromatic tobaccos, uh, either Mac Barron's uh, Seven Seas and the uh, uh, W.O. Larson's uh, Simply Unique, they are very very good aromatic tobaccos. I'm, I'm so happy just uh, uh, got them from the shop and uh, they should become now part of my tobacco rotation because they're, you know, the kind of tobacco that you, you can smoke on a regular basis every day, uh, any time before or after meals and um, I find it very pleasant. And the room note is very pleasant too. So you don't have to worry about oh, fellow neighbors uh, just in case you're, you're smoking outdoors. Um, Because they they wouldn't find it disgusting. It's the kind of a smell that you can tolerate rather well. And just smoking it on this in this uh, Savinelli pipe, um, which I like it a lot. It's uh, it smokes very easy. As you can see, it's a half bent shape. Um, it's got a silver ring. Um, well, I don't mind that, to be honest. I don't mind uh, ornaments very much. Uh, so it's just an ornament. You know, it doesn't make any difference to me. But the 
the briar it's very very good I don't know if you can if you can see that uh, the grain is that very nice that you know the typical uh, where am I? Here. typical uh, bird's eye on one side and kind of flame grain on the other side it's a nice wood it's kind of thick but not not heavy at all it's quite light even though it's a uh, it's a big pipe with this uh, like sort of egg-shaped bowl. So I think I need to relight again. So yeah. W. Larson, some of the tobaccos uh, they produce and I've tried are very uh, decent actually, fairly good. Like this one, uh, fine and elegant from the classics uh, series too. This one is kind of very fruity. It's got some, uh, actually smells a little bit like orange, lemon. Aromas. Um, so yeah, lovely. And well, that is uh, basically it. Well, uh, I wonder. You're probably curious about what I've got there in the background that's a that's a drawing I'm working on um, it's not finished yet it, it's taken me too long it's not rush anyway but just being kind of lazy so well I should finish soon anyway I should finish it soon um, so probably next time you you see me, you could possibly see some progress being made. Um, well, I've got some work to do now. Um, it was a real pleasure talking to you about my hyper smoking habits. Uh, hope to see you soon again. Right, take care. Bye.